Hey, y'all Blender fans out there. Today I wanted to share with you a quick tip I just figured out uh, just a little while ago. If you're, um, if you're lucky enough to be running the latest Android, you may know that uh, the latest Android uh, 4.2, I believe, has this cool little feature where you can take 3D panoramas. Now, what you may not know is you can use this for Blender for HDR lighting. And I'm going to show you real quick how easy this is to do. If I go into my Blender build right here. And I'm going to start a new scene. And then I'm going to go into Cycles. And I'm going to go in, uh, go into my world settings and select environment texture. And open. And, um, and I'm going to go to my Dropbox. What I did is I took my 3D panorama that I made with my Android phone and I uploaded it to my Dropbox using the Dropbox app. So I'm going to go to my Dropbox here. And I have my panorama right here. And I'm going to open that up. And what you want to do is you want to make sure you have this uh, selected right here, Echo Rectangular. Now if we go into our rendered view, and give it a second, we can see our 3D panorama renders in Blender. See, then we can use our cube, and we can use HDR lighting on our cube. Or we can use our report for reflections for our 3D scene. See if I change this to reflection. And see if I had a UV spear here. If I add a material to this and make a reflection. See here we get nice reflections on our UV sphere of our world here. Well, anyway, that's pretty much it. That's just a quick tip I wanted to share with you guys, and I'll talk to you guys later.